Hey guys, how's it going? Faults of Hell here, and we've got quite a bit of things to talk about today. First things first, the reason I'm wearing this, this is our mic for the day. If you guys can, yeah. Camera doesn't have the best audio, so we're going to use this. So guys, you guys have all been waiting for this. I'm finally going to address this, the Mayanite situation. Let me start from the top on what happened. I know the server's been down for a while. Well, it really hasn't been down. It's been whitelisted because we had to fix some things. Let me explain. Uh, about two, I want to say two weeks ago, I was on the server with Chris. One of Implax's accounts was on there. And Sebastian. And we were sitting there just messing around, you know. But then I saw it was Implax account. So, as I always do, I see an Implax account, I ban it. So I banned that account... And what ended up happening was uh, Chris kept unbanning the account. So then Sebastian started banning his account. And then they ended up threatening Sebastian with his IP. They sent him his IP, his address, like the climate and temperature at the current moment in time. Really creepy. So me and Aiden decided they were going too far. We needed to put a halt to this. So we had to DOP him and ban him. Chris. And we got Implex banned. So then I had to go to work. And then I looked at my phone while I was at work. And I, everyone was spamming me with messages. Like, we need your help. We need your help. And from what I was told is, I guess, while I was at work, a different admin who didn't know that Chris was banned, or like the whole reasoning, unbanned Chris. And then another admin who didn't know oh, that Chris was banned or DOP'd, re would him. So shit went downhill, I guess. I guess as soon as that happened, he started banning everybody, sending up command blocks to kill everybody. Um, he set up command blocks to constantly uh, to constantly OP him, him and Implax, and he set up command blocks to constantly uh, unban themselves because they knew. I guess they knew we were going to do something. So then they deleted all the warps, all the um, groups. They deleted all of Grant and, or Insane Skills and uh, Mr. Toasty's homes. So I looked at my phone. I was like, all right, I got to do something about this. So I took a 10-minute break. And on that 10-minute break, I was able to get into the console, change the password because Chris had access to the console. So we're thinking that's what he did. So I had, I had time to change the password to the console and then turn the whitelist on. Or no, no, no. I ended up trying to ban Chris and Implex, but they had the command blocks to constantly, un constantly unban themselves. So then I came to the conclusion, shut down the server, turn on the whitelist. I couldn't do any more off my phone, so I gave Aiden the, com the console, and what he ended up doing was turning on the whitelist, and he disabled command blocks, went on there, and then banned those two again. So they can't get back on. We IP banned them, and then... Um, they started going through trying to find all the command blocks. Luckily, though, oh yeah, and then they also just completely wrecked spawn, wrecked admin towns, started destroying temples. But we were lucky enough that two days prior to this, Insane Skills or Grant or whatever you guys want to call him, he was lucky enough that he, or he was, we, had, we were lucky that two days prior, he was like, you know, world's going to get reset. I kind of want this world for memories. So he downloaded the world save to his computer two days earlier. So what ended up happening was he was able to just re-upload that and fix everything. So that was pretty awesome. And then we almost lost um, the last part of the story. Because, guys, the server's back up. We changed the IP so that Chris would stop trying to mess with us. So the new IP is in the description. Server is not whitelisted. It is up and running. Back to how it was. This weekend, Saturday or Sunday, I'm not too sure which day, maybe even Friday, uh, just be on all three days. Storyline stuff is happening. It is going to be the end of this map because we are doing a reset. It is going to be the end of this part of the storyline for the reset. Um... We, I guess we almost lost the last story part, uh, like the, the part for the, like the map area for the last story part, 
But uh, luckily, Chris defined a region so that mobs couldn't spawn, and I guess Grant was able to find that region using a few commands and was able to go back over there, set a new home there, and everything is now good. So storylines happening this weekend. Please hop on. We're hoping you guys still want to join us for the new Mayanite, or for Mayanite again. We're hoping you guys, we haven't lost our fan base here for the server. And then, um, yeah, so come join us. It's up and running. It's going to be awesome. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, next thing I want to talk about. Guys, we are at almost 100 subscribers. Freaking amazing. But the thing is, for my 100 subscriber video, I want to do a Q&A type thing. Like, my girlfriend came up with the idea. She's like, maybe we can, me and you could do a Q&A. So she wants to join me in on a Q&A session, but I need you guys to ask me questions. As many questions as you guys can give me, you know, just... I will answer any questions you give me or my girlfriend. Like, you can ask me questions. You can ask her questions. We're both going to be in on it. So hope. So I'm hoping you guys can give me questions. I'm four subscribers away from 100, so I need these questions soon. You can comment on this video. You can comment on other videos. Any comments, I will get. Uh, you guys can go to my Twitter. You guys can ask questions there. You guys can ask questions on my Facebook. Just I need those questions. Because so that I can do that, if I can't get the questions by 100 subscribers, I'm going to have to wait till 150, which I really don't want to do. So please, get me those questions, guys. I would really appreciate it. And then, um, Christmas special, guys. Um, I wanted to know what you guys were thinking of the, uh, the Minecraft Christmas, 20 days of Christmas thing. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying that, but, uh, if you guys want to see more cool little holiday things like that, I can totally get that arranged. I can think of some more cool ideas like that. Me and Hunter thought of that. We thought it'd be a great idea. And then, um, the December loot crate is coming up soon, guys. I'm stoked. Uh, this loot crate is going to be the anniversary loot crate. It is going to be the biggest loot crate to this date. They said it's going to be the biggest loot crate that they have ever delivered. So I am freaking excited. It's going to be like two Christmases. Should be delivered actually around Christmas time. So that's going to be great. And then um, I think that's about all I can think to talk about today, guys. Yeah, guys, that is going to be it for this video. So guys, don't forget to leave that like. Don't forget to subscribe. And please, guys, don't forget to ask me those questions. I need as many as you guys can give me. Just anything you guys have been wanting to know. Just ask me, and I will answer them in my 100 subscriber special. Hopefully, I don't have to do it on 150, but I'm hoping to do it on 100. So, guys, we shall see you in the next episode. Bye.